Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Elite Clockman here. The new Skibidi Multiverse episode was just released, and we have a lot to talk about. It's nice to see an original Skibidi Toilet episode, and a Multiverse episode almost back to back. Even though this episode didn't include much lore, it had a lot of fighting and seems like the clowns are done for now that the Titan duo is together and will be going ham on the clown duo. But before we get into all this, make sure to like this video and subscribe. It looks like we are getting closer to 300,000 subscribers, and I believe that if we try hard enough we can get to 300,000 before episode 20. Anyways, here we go. The episode literally starts with the POV cameraman flexing on us with his pen spinning skills, and we get a clear look at the roller coaster ride, allowing us to understand we are at the theme park from the earlier episode. We already knew that the clowns were gathering up here, and it seems like the Alliance has found out about the location of this place and is now trying to invade it. We don't really get to learn how they found the location, but one thing is for certain. The POV cameraman was supposed to be on a stealth mission because he moves pretty slowly while crouching, trying to spy on the clown toilets. While he is spying on them, we see three clown toilets gathering around to maybe plan something, but sadly our POV cameraman steps on something which causes some noise. This results in the clown toilets noticing him, but this POV cameraman pulls his pen back and apparently it's actually something special. When he first pulls it out we can see that it's glowing red but that's not it. He suddenly spills it all into his left hand and actually turns invisible somehow. I guess this is a new liquid they developed to spy on toilets without being seen because the clown toilet cannot feel the POV cameraman's presence at all. After this, even though they make sure that there is no one, all the clown toilets seem to be on edge at this exact moment and their biggest fears come true literally seconds later. Suddenly a clown toilet gets thrown out of nowhere and upgraded Titan Speakerman enters the scene. After this we can actually see the signs on the pole next to us, but they don't seem to have any importance at all because the first one says the funhouse point at the house next to us and says tickets under it, meaning that these were not changed at all and are from the map they use. After upgraded Titan Speakerman arrives, we see the clown toilets probably losing their minds because of how terrified they are but that doesn't seem to be the case for the helicopter clown toilet, who has four rocket launchers, two spiky bats, and two nukes on him. What the hell is that overpowered gadget set? The main thing about clown toilets is, even though they have insane upgrades, it really doesn't seem like they do much. That's the main reason why I'm so curious about Pennywise toilet, since he seemed a lot more calm compared to the other clown toilets who are all talk and no action. They all make fun of the agents then get killed easily at least from what we have seen. But to be honest, we haven't really seen normal agents fight against them either, since it's been the Titans fighting against them mostly. The reason most likely is their size, since they all seem to be huge toilets. What do you think Pennywise Toilet's powers will be in the next episode? After we see the helicopter clown toilet's appearance, he suddenly starts laughing as if he is the Joker from Batman and shoots some rockets at upgraded Titan Speakerman which of course doesn't affect him at all, and they start fighting. While the fight is going on, we can see Titan Speakerman using his abilities as best as he can, but suddenly a Strider Clown toilet jumps out of nowhere and they start teaming up on him, but it's useless. While the helicopter toilet is trying to escape, upgraded Titan Speakerman pulls him by with his new upgraded hand cannons and throws both the clown toilets to the back. And actually, while he is throwing them away, you can see that the helicopter toilet still has two nukes, but the reason why so much smoke comes up might be that the fake nuke explodes when they get thrown, because after Titan Speakerman throws them, he kills the normal clown toilets who are trying to run away from the fight with his lasers. But when the helicopter toilet comes back, it's pretty apparent that he lost one of the nukes when he was thrown away. After they come back, the clown duo actually starts getting the upper hand for the first time in the battle but it doesn't last long because upgraded Titan Speakerman finds a gap and holds the helicopter clown toilet with his right hand to stop him. Literally not even seconds later, he also holds the Strider clown toilet with his left hand and actually pushes his head down to the acid lake that we see under the theme park. It looks like the clown toilets have filled the whole theme park with acid water as a defense measure, but upgraded Titan Speakerman uses this as if it's a Uno reverse card. What a chad. 
While he is holding the Strider Clown toilet in the acid, he uses his flamethrowers to burn the Helicopter Clown toilet's face without any worries, and blood literally turns into ash, leading him to crash and explode with acid. But it doesn't end there and the fight keeps on ramping up. In this next scene we actually see something crazy on upgraded Titan Speaker Man, which might actually make him as strong as Titan Cameraman at this point. But before I talk about that I want to let you know that. I'm making a Skibidi Toilet Roblox game and we are very close to releasing it, if you want to be notified when it comes out. Make sure to join my group on Roblox and follow my Twitter account called at Elite Cam Games. Anyways, let's continue. As I said, the fight doesn't end here, and we see a black and white clown toilet which actually has a body, and I guess that makes him the mutant clown toilet. But I really like his design because it's very unique since he has no color. The weird thing we see is that, he actually has a core just like G-Man 4.0, and this mutant clown toilet is literally making fun of upgraded Titan Speakerman, as if he just wants to get him angry. And it really does work because upgraded Titan Speakerman starts hitting this mutant clown toilet so hard it's crazy. But there is actually a crazy detail that was shown to us here. If you freeze the frame when upgraded Titan Speakerman is getting ready to attack, you can actually see his new weapon which we haven't seen before, at least I think. He actually has an axe on his back, which looks like the axe Thor uses in Avengers Infinity War. It looks so sick, and I hope we get to see it in action in the next episode, which I think we will considering how this episode ended. I wonder if it actually has some special powers like how Titan Cameraman can use a booster to make his hammer hit more powerful. After the first hit, upgraded Titan Speakerman gets so triggered that he actually screams at the mutant clown toilet between every punch and he gets killed even before he can use his core. Blood really got destroyed. Biggest L in the history of any toilet if you ask me. He was making fun of Titan Speakerman literally seconds before. After dying we get to see one of the normal clown toilets watching the scenes. And I think his eyes tell us everything we need to know. He tries to escape after seeing this horrifying scene. But thanks to upgraded Titan Cameraman he gets one shotted with a hammer smash. An upgraded Titan Speakerman actually gives a thumbs up right here, unlike what the does in the original series. Seconds later he suddenly gets attacked by a time gun, and we all know which toilet has the time gun already, but it doesn't affect him. After getting stunned for a second he turns back to normal. People might have thought this was because of how powerful he is, but that's not true because if we look carefully at his left arm, we can see two small golden parts of his watch that he wears. There is no way Clockman would let the Titans be lose without watches at this point. They might even have extra watches for if they get destroyed. We see that his watch holds up, but it doesn't look like the scientist toilet is surprised about it. And the clown toilet duo is fully ready to fight with the Pennywise toilet standing on the back. It also looks like Dom Studios fixed the Pennywise hair after it being glitched in the last episode. After this, we see the upgraded Titan duo getting into the ready position as well with the upgraded Titan cameraman telling them to come at them, and the episode ends. This truly was an episode filled with fights, and it looks like episode 19 part 2 will be no different, and I think we'll most likely get some crazy lore reveals in episode 20 if it goes like this. So if you don't want to miss anything, make sure to like this video and subscribe with notifications on Elite Clockman out.